Take care. Okay. So I'm James Reynolds, and I'm going to show how to modify this running app from my iPad. So, okay. So there it is running. And this is running Gitter Studio. And this is Lua. And what this is, is this is text Textastic. And uh, this is a file on my Dropbox account. And this iPhone is running an app that basically downloads this file every couple of seconds. So um, I've got this check in there that checks to make sure it's the first time. And if it's the first time, it runs all that code to that end. And that sets up the app and stuff. And then right here is where the code that runs every single time that this downloads. And now I've changed the X speed. And you should now see the X speed change right there. And now I change the X speed really slow. And I upload it. And it's uploading to Dropbox. And this is going to download it from Dropbox in a second. And there it goes really slow. And now if I go in here and change the Y speed, I can upload this to Dropbox. And now it should move really slow. And if I wanted to do something like, uh, uh, although I wasn't planning on it, if I wanted to change the scale, so right here I've got the scale variable, I can go in there and change that to like 10 and upload it and it should change the scale of that little mask thing right there and now it's really big and there we go and that's how I can modify a running app with uh, coding and basically I have a blog post that describes how to how to do the Gitteros app. Of course you wouldn't be able to put something like this on the app store because it's downloading and executing code right? So an Apple doesn't allow that. Where do you find your blog at? Oh right it's at blog.magnusvery.com <laughs> Uh, Magnus Ferry is M-A-G-N-U-S-V-I-R-I. Thank you.